Today's video is sponsored by Vendu. All right, so I had a pretty decent weekend out of nowhere. <laughs> we actually did list quite a bit, but um, I have some stuff to pull, so let's get to it. These are a pair of black Lululemon leggings that I picked up at a recent rummage sale. I paid $3. I listed them for $40, and I had a viewer who sent me a $35 offer. They are a size 10, just like a basic Lululemon, um, and they're heading out. Here they are. We had to do some sweater shaving around the waist, but they came out so nice, so nice. Yeah, so $35, they're in really great condition, and that was a really quick flip. Next up is a pair of Levi's. These are a pair of ribcage jeans that sold for $45. Are these them right here? Nope, those are the mile high. So many Levi's, so many Levi's. Um, I had them listed for $65 and I received an offer. There they are, the ribcage boot. I did not receive an offer. I sent an offer for $45 with discounted shipping. So that was great. So many jeans. Always happy to move denim, especially when it's selling for, you know, over $40. Makes me pretty happy. So there's that. This was an eBay sale, uh, which is so interesting because earlier in the day, I sold a very similar bag. It was a Wilson or Willis bag in black on Poshmark, a little bit larger. I think this is called a station bag. If you ever find these vintage coach bags, this shape does so very well. Um, I don't know that this is vintage. I feel like this is a remake. Um, I'm not positive. Anyways, I listed this for $129 and I got an offer for $96 on eBay. They paid right away. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I love old coach bags so much. And I'll show you the other one upstairs because I already pulled that. This brand, I had never heard of it. It's called Late. Let me find that tag. You can barely see the tag there. This is a robe. I picked it up because I believe it was organic cotton and the feel of it was just luxurious. And I ran comps and I was so surprised by the comps. They were really good. I think I played, it was something at Savers like $7.99 and then discounted like, you know, so I probably paid $6, six and change. Had it listed for $75. I've gotten a lot of interest in it, but I sent out uh, offers for $52 with discounted shipping, which I believe is 30% off $75. My buyer accepted $52 for a robe. I was so happy. I see two items in here that sold. This J. Crew sweater and this sweater. I'm going to grab this first. This was a very quick flip. This was from the same rummage sale as the Lululemon pants. This sweater also cost three dollars and i absolutely loved it this is a brand called english factory this was sold on shop bop for ninety dollars it's like brand new here's the tag i had it listed for 49 dollars. i had a viewer come over from youtube and they offered me 30. it was it was definitely lower than i wanted however it's a bulky sweater i only paid three dollars it would have been like a two-day flip or three-day flip so in that case, it was also someone who supported the channel, so I, I accepted. And I'm not sad about it. So I paid three and it sold for 30. Okay, this sweater, however, I had to do a double take because I was starting to lose hope on this sweater. This is a newest tag uh, J. Crew sweater with these adorable butterflies. I think I've had this since 2021 and I had it listed for $60. It is new with tag. The price tag is 98. I literally did a double take because someone offered me $51. I was so happy. I was really starting to lose hope on this. It's a beautiful sweater and it's new with tag and they still got it for about half off the retail price. It just took a while to sell. So, so happy about this sale. Okay, next sale was a Knox Rose top which I believe I picked up at the bins and I grabbed it because I thought it was really cute. And I thought to myself, if I don't sell this, I might try it. Love the embroidery, love the boho vibe. You know, a lot of Target brands do just fine if you're happy with that 15 to $25 price point. So when it comes to the bins, if it's something I think I can flip fast, I will grab it. It's sold for $18. My average cost of goods that day was under $2. 
This was another fast flip and another thing that I let go for a little less than I wanted to, but because it came in so quickly, sometimes I will let things go if it's a really quick flip. This is the brand Mate. I got this on the Beat the Clock haul that I did at Savers. I wasn't thinking super clearly when I first saw these. I just saw the brand. I'm like, Mate, Mate. I know that's a good brand. And I had already sold a sweatshirt from this brand. This is a great brand. Um, I paid under $5 for these. I think they were $5.49 and I had 30% off that day. So a really great price. I forgot to say the price. These sold for $35. Next up is a Lily Pulitzer sweater that sold right here. I sent out a good offer on this. Lily Pulitzer does move for me in the summer. I thought this was just a really classic sweater. It's this royal blue. Don't think I paid very much for this, um, but it's really pretty. Very lightweight sweater, perfect for summer. And I believe the offer I sent out was for $30 with discounted shipping. And I think I had it listed maybe at $38. So three sweaters. We are so happy about that. My little namaste bag. I love this. I've had this for years. It's an old Lululemon bag. Anyways, my bag is full. I still have to grab a bundle. And I have a couple items from an estate sale that I haven't shown yet that sold upstairs. Okay, so this is from the estate sale. Um, I have not posted this video. Maybe is awake. So these are some Tory Burch heels. And they have this really fun yellow toe cap. And these sold for $75. I was pretty excited about that. I paid $15. i am starting to list some of my estate sale. This is an Escada silk piece that I got. And this is the most beautiful caftan. I listed this for $99 and my buyer sent me an offer for like $50 or $60. I countered it $85. They came back at $75. I countered back at $85 because this is just so gorgeous. I paid $20 for the caftans. I have two other ones. This was the nicest one. So this sold for 85 and the shoes sold for 75 on this particular visit. I spent $112 at the estate sale and included in that purchase were these items, which you'll see um, in detail in another video. So the two caftans, the Gucci bag, I spent $112. So I've already made my money back from that particular visit, but then I went back to the woman's house and I spent 400. Um, I did not get anything as exciting like Gucci, but I got a lot of really incredible vintage pieces. This is a vintage Escada that is part of a three-piece suit. So we're just working on that right now and I'm editing that video. So I'm gonna go grab Lumpy and finish shipping these things out. You've been crying to come out. Now your crate's open. Did you just want mommy to come see you? Did you just want some company? Where's Lammy? You love you, Liammy. It's your favorite. So these are the bags side by side that sold. This sold on eBay. This sold on Poshmark. This sold for 96. And this was 174. These are both really popular styles. The top handle, this vintage, beautiful leather. I think they did a reissue of this, so they're not all vintage. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, there's the Willis, the Wilson, the station bag. I'm not sure. I actually paid up for this. I believe this one I paid $30 for at a local thrift store. They had it like behind the counter. You can help me with some shipping. I think he needs a haircut. His hair is growing so much. He loves all the little scraps from my packages. All right, come on. We got more work to do, young man. Okay, this is a bundle. Last thing heading out this morning. This is the kick-ass repeat wake-up bra from Torrid that I just picked up either at a rum one of the rummage sales or the bins. An Eileen Fisher sweater. I have had this for a bit, and I think I had this priced at $60 or $75. This Peace Love sock shirt was mine that my cousin had designed years ago, and I just haven't worn it. It's so darn cute. But these three items went out. I sent my buyer an offer of $75. And I think that was about 30% off. So yeah, it was a good weekend of sales. All right, really quick. I just want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Vendu. Vendu has been really 
hitting it out of the park lately for me. I am happy to report that I have over 750 listings on eBay and double that on Poshmark. I've been working towards building up my inventory all over on eBay and without Vendu, I know myself, I'm a lazy lister. I just don't think that I would have the numbers over there. And that is resulting in me earning upwards of $1,000 every month now in sales over on eBay. Vendu is a cross-listing service that can cross-post your items to now 11 marketplaces. I'm primarily on Poshmark and eBay, but they just added Vestair Collective, which I am so excited about. This is a worldwide platform, so so many eyes across the world will be on your luxury items. I used to send things to the real real, and then the payouts just became so minute. It just wasn't worth it. There were so many items I would send to them that they wouldn't accept. Now I can list all of my luxury items through Vendu. I'm noticing that some of the prices over on Vestair Collective are higher than the ones that I'm used to on Poshmark and eBay. I don't know if things are selling higher, but I'm noticing that they're definitely listed higher over there. Vendu has plans for all different price points. If you're at the hobby level or professional level, there is a plan for you. If you want to give Vendu a try, click the link in my description. You'll save 25% off your first month of service. This service, in my opinion, pays for itself. Once you cross post to a couple platforms, Platforms and you start selling your items on places you've never listed before or you didn't have time to list before. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments. Again, click the link. You can save 25% off your first month of service. Thanks so much, everybody. All right, let's go thrifting. I am just leaving my house right now. We are headed to Savers. I have secured the coupon. Let's head inside. I love these little cardigans, so cute. Definitely gonna grab that. These belted tops don't do great and this actually has a hole in it. I saw it somewhere. Where was the hole? There it is. That's too bad because the price is good, but that hole is not. brand Lumia. Big mistake passing these by. Stay tuned. I go back the next day. These look like old Lulus. Oh no, these are Ivivas. These are kids version products. Oh, I don't know how my Iviva stuff sits, but I haven't found a pair of pants in a while. I have found this brand once before, but it hasn't sold yet. I wonder if I just have it priced high. I should probably grab this American Giant. We'll see. There are always new pants in this section, new tag. It's like one of my least favorite sections to look through. New with tag. A little bean, 10 bucks. Mm, I don't like that length. Um, these are new with tag. These are new with tag. I've never heard of this brand, Vervet Los Angeles, so I decided to look them up because I really like this style. And I saw some sold comps for 32 and for 40. I also saw some much less than that, but I think these will do okay. I have never found Maguire jeans before, and these are nice. They're a nice flare. You do have, um, they're super soft, and it looks like, yeah, I'd probably have to press the bottom, but these are really, really soft. They're in great condition, and ironically, I was pulling jeans that I sold in my bin that had size 29, had a lot of room. So, I think I'm gonna grab these. What's the price? Oh boy, there's no price. We'll have to see. I do like picking up high-rise Abercrombie jeans, but they have them priced at $12.99, so can't grab those. I'm in the loungewear section, and I just found this La Perla lace mesh little teddy, and comps on this brand are fantastic. And this is in pristine condition. It's $5.99 before the 20%. 
Okay, this is vintage, made in the USA. It is just too good to leave behind. I wish it wasn't $7.99, but I love when the tag is here. Size medium, I might, made in the USA. Oh my gosh, this has to come home with me. This is like brand new and it is Third Love. The Artisan Plunge Bra, 42 D. It's in a nice larger size. I don't think this was ever worn. Heavy price tag though. $7.49, but I should be able to get like maybe $28, $30 for that. This little piece caught my eye as I was walking by. And look, it is another La Perla piece. So I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna keep looking because it appears that someone donated a bunch of this, <laughs> or at least two pieces that I found. All right, I love Free People Beach, and this is just $3.99, but there are like a couple little stains. They're pretty faint, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave this behind. Oh, those are bigger stains. It is so quiet today. I wish I could stay longer. Um, I'm in the men's section now, but I have to get going. That's Hugo Boss. But... On these cute little purses. Looks like this brand was sold at um, Anthropology, Jasper and Jira. They're just so tiny and so easy to film. I mean, to photograph. So these will probably just be like under twenty dollars, but still really cute. I thought these were Rothies at quick glance. They were just up here. Oh well. I really have to go. Saludos. Those don't sell great for me. All right, quick, quick and dirty. We got some cute stuff. All right, it is the next day and I literally came back to get these sweatpants because the comps were so good on these. This was a big miss yesterday and the comps were good enough that I decided to come back and grab this and spend some time. I'm here at opening, it's 9 a.m. on Tuesday. I love this brand, Barber. $10.99. It's really in beautiful condition. This is 100% linen. I don't know how it will do. And then I found this Eileen Fisher women's. Lots of embellishments here on the shoulder. It's 100% silk though. I'm definitely grabbing this. Okay, I'm home and whoa, I had to go back. I had to go back because as I was editing the thrift with me portion of the video, I looked up the comps on these pants and they were fantastic. And my savers isn't that far from me. So I decided I'm going back first thing this morning. Luckily they were still there. I'm gonna start with these pants. These are called Lunia. This is a brand I've never heard of before. I should know better when something feels so good. It's organic cotton in a silk blend, and I think maybe nylon as well. These great wide leg pants. These retail for $168. I'm so glad that I went back. I am going to list them at half off, so $84, and I'm hoping they sell for about 60. So I am so happy that I went back and grabbed these. Aside from those, I did find more fantastic things. Today, when I went back this morning, I only got a few things, but I did grab this Eileen Fisher Women swing dress with these little embellishments on the shoulders. They're, they're little sequins, and this is very un-Eileen Fisher to me. Usually her stuff is a little bit more subdued, but I mean, this is just a pretty little embellishment. It is a plus size. The size is not included. I'm guessing it's about a 1X, 100% silk. It's just beautiful. I'm sure the retail on this dress is well over $300 for 100% silk, and it's just stunning. Uh, my price at Savers was $11.49 before my 20% off coupon. So right off the bat, first two items I'm sharing with you, probably a combined retail value of over $400 or $500. Just crazy. While we're talking about insane retail, I have two pieces from La Perla. Uh, I mentioned this brand in my thrift with me. This is a beach cover-up. 
It was $8.49 and it's just stunning. It has these beautiful embroidered designs, uh, kind of a bell sleeve here. And look at that. The detail is just gorgeous. I went on their website and I knew they had high retail value, but one of the, um, they called it a caftan and it was like a cotton cover up basically was $700. I, I can't believe it's like funny money, the prices on some of their pieces. So the comps on La Perla wide range, whether you're talking about a bra or a slip or a cover up, it really depends on what you're looking at. But I'm pretty confident that this will sell for $50 plus. So on their website, I'm going to take a screenshot of this. This is called the off white caftan in cotton. It's as close as I could get to a style such as the one that I purchased. The retail is $780, $780 for a cotton cover-up. I mean, seriously? So this is very likely a similar retail value. I couldn't find this exact one. I definitely plan to do a little bit more research, but $780, okay? So now we're at like $1,200 with three items. It's just crazy. All right, in addition to that La Perla piece, I also found this more like sexy lingerie piece. This is the other piece. This was $5.99 before my 20%. It's this beautiful like turquoise. I guess it's more of a turquoise than a teal. And it is a mesh fabric. If I come in close, very stunning, beautiful, sheer, sexy. This is a size one, which looks like it's probably a small. I love the detail in their stuff because if you look at the back, you can see how the stitching kind of comes down and it's a little bit more of a finer mesh in the center than it is on the outside. And then that kind of mirrors the lace if you can line up the front and the back. Just gorgeous, real beautiful attention to detail. In between these two things, I'm hoping to sell them for combined over $100. This is the American Giant sweatshirt that I decided to grab. I think I'm gonna go in and adjust the pricing on the current one that I have. I think mine is like an eggplant color. I can't really remember, but this is the label for American Giant, and that is what I paid, $5.99 minus $1.20, because of course I had 20% off. This is really heavy, beautiful cotton. I am so excited about the things that I found. These I don't think are gonna make a lot of money. They just kind of spoke to me. They were $3 each. Well, actually, three times two, they were $2.40 each, so two of them for under $5. Again, this brand is Jasper and Jira. There's the tag. Um, and it looks like they had a lot of items that were sold at Anthropology. I don't know if these were, but they're really just adorable little change purses with this beautiful fabric. Maybe 15 to $20 for each of these, but they'll take about 30 seconds to list. So that goes a long way with me <laughs> and with Tina. This I think is another underrated piece, hard to find comps on it. When I was in store and I was looking at the tag on this beautiful vintage nightgown, I thought it said Mori, but it says movie. It's very clear to me now. It's movie star, size medium, made in the USA. And I believe this is from the 60s. There are people who have this brand listed on Etsy between $75 and $100. Comps are all over the place, but I believe in this piece. Just by looking at that tag, you can see what beautiful condition this is in. And then if you look at all the details, there's no staining. That little ruffle on the sleeve is just so pretty. The buttons are intact. The lace detail is just gorgeous. I might list this at 75. With vintage, you just don't know. If it didn't have these great sleeves, I wouldn't be as excited, but I feel like this really just elevates the piece, makes it really like timeless, vintage, beautiful. Oh my gosh, my neighbors. I don't know if you know, but my last video, oh, I filmed it for my other channel, Time with Tata. I had to time out when I filmed because my neighbors in the summer, do you hear that? They have trucks outside of my house and I am not joking, five out of seven days a week doing work on their house. They park right in front of my house. So, and they're so loud. I never know when I can film in the summer because there's always someone here. So I really hope that that sound is not too loud in the background. 
I think I need a soundproof studio for filming. These were the McGuire jeans that I picked up. Really excited about these. The fact that these were um, a bell bottom, like this flare, really on trend right now. They were size 29, which I mentioned in store is a size that I'm low on in my inventory. And these are the, the Majorelle flare, which is a pretty popular style based on my quick search. So I'm hoping to get between like 50 and $60 for these, which is just fantastic. They charge me $7.99 at the register. Um, there was not a price tag on that. So I thought that was fine. I am gonna wash these because it looks like whoever owned them before, this is probably their natural hem. They folded them up and I just wanna wash these and straighten that out for the pictures. They are the most incredibly soft cotton denim stretch. They definitely have a stretch to them, but they're soft, 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 like the softest denim I've ever felt without having any puckering or anything like that. They're really special jeans. I'm excited about those. Um, I think I call these vervet in the store, but it's probably French and it's probably verve. Correct me if I'm wrong. Again, new with tag, I'm hoping to get between 30 and $40 for these. Really cute style and the size, what was the size on these? And they're a size large, which is great. So $7.99 for shorts, uh, not my favorite thing to pay for them. So eight times two is $1.60, so $6.40 is what I paid. If I get a $35 return, I'll be really good with that. This is the uh, Third Love bra that I found like brand new. Maybe I can show you a little bit more detail. I love the band here, the little pink band. This looks like it was never ever worn. Um, and some pads in here that are removable right here, just gorgeous. Um, the comps were a little mixed on that. I thought they'd be a little bit higher. I still feel like this is a little bit more unique with the, the light pink stripe on the ivory and the fact that it feels like brand new. I'm still hoping for like $30, $30 for a return, but again, this was $7.49 before the discount. Savers can really mark things up and I've just kind of embraced it at this point and some things are great deals and other things aren't, but I think overall, we'll get my average cost of goods when we're done. This was a Madewell sweater. This was the very first thing that I picked up. Just a very basic ribbed cardigan, probably won't be a huge return, but at the same time, I think ribbed cardigans are timeless. So hopefully we'll get a good return on that. It's from the summer of 2020. Madewell always has style numbers, so you can always grab the information and a stock photo, you know, for your reference, or if you choose to use them in your listings, use them at your own risk. Uh, this was a dress that I picked up. There were stock photos and information on this. There was a listing for the same dress, Barber. It's a really beautiful brand. This is a size four, 100% linen, really beautiful dress for the summer. It was $10.99. I purchased this for 20% less, so a little less than $9. If I could get 40 to 50 for this, I would be really happy with that return. And last but not least, I got these very cozy, unbranded joggers for myself to wear to bed. They are so soft. Um, I'm in this zone right now where I wanna get rid of a lot of my pattern things. Like I have a lot of lounge pants that I'll wear to bed that have like snowflakes on them or they're plaid or there's birds, whatever. I just want a more minimalist look, like pants that I could wear to bed and then wake up and go to my mailbox or maybe run an errand in. Something a little bit more multi-purpose, like these are nice lounge pants and the best part about these is that they were $2.49 plus 20% off. Big spender for myself. My first round I spent $51, the second round I spent 27, so 27 plus 51, so around $78. Okay, I bought myself a bra and then I have these two purses. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Getting my pants ready. <laughs> 10, the dresses 11, 12, 13, and then the two La Perla for 15 total items. 
That means my average cost of goods on this entire haul was just $5.20 per item. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more from me, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I release videos about two times every week. Hit the like button if you had a good time. And remember, if you want to give Vendu a try, click the link in my description to get 25% off your first month of service. Thanks everyone. Love you. Bye.